I think every vegan on social media kind of wet themselves with the excitement. Definitely. It, this is Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We have lots to cover in today's video. First up, we woke to so many so comments many. from you guys screaming, Kylie Jenner's <laughs> going vegan! <laughs> <laughs> I think every vegan on social media kind of wet themselves with the excitement. Definitely. It, this is huge news. Our social media was bombarded, yeah. wasn't it? So many messages. Abs it is massive news. It, it's massive, it is. <laughs> Ooh, we're all getting all flustered. Okay, so did she say that she's going vegan? Technically not. What she actually said on her Snapchat was... I'm trying this whole vegan thing. Vegan tacos. Alright, she's trying it out. That's good. We're going to take that for now. The next yes. best thing would be, I am vegan here. Watch her things. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll settle for I'm trying it yeah, out. Yeah, definitely. So, where do we even start with this? I mean, what does this mean? Well, for starters, our comments in this video are going to be up to this oh, yes. point in time in her the Snapchats that we show off Kylie's yeah. because uh, anything could... new could come to light. That's right. It's just absolutely wonderful news. Yeah. Uh, in fact, it reminds us of a Tumblr post that we were um, asked, yes. it was a question we were asked on Tumblr, you know, if you could uh, convince one person to go vegan in the world, who would it be? And we said... Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner. That's and that's right. because? She is one of the most popular people on social media. She has a massive following. Yeah. Almost... Uh, almost 100 million on Instagram. And she is the most viewed person on Snapchat. Let's repeat. The, the most, most viewed, viewed person <laughs> on Snapchat. We're talking many, 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 many millions. We don't know how many millions, but there are a lot of them. And of course, so many of her followers on Snapchat are coming from her huge Instagram following of almost 100 million. Now, 100 million people, it's 96 million, but let's use 100 million for yeah. round numbers. 100 million people, that's almost a third of the population <sighs> of the United States of America. Hearing that's the like word walking vegan. around the US and one in three people yeah. that you see are following Kylie Jenner, you know, as that's an example. That's huge. And all of these people are hearing the word vegan. They're seeing vegan food on her social media, on her Snapchat. <sighs> yeah. Let's just pause and take yeah, that I mean, in, right? Okay. <laughs> it's like the biggest billboard I you know. could possibly ever imagine yeah. and dream of yeah. so this is really good yeah i mean at 100 million people let's just say that one percent of the followers mm. see those posts about kylie eating vegan food and think okay i'm going to try some vegan meals today now one percent of 100 million people <laughs> is a million people trying a vegan meal that's a lot of animals saved so you know, many. The, the flow on effect of what she's posting yeah. i think is beyond Comprehension. Comprehension, yeah, yeah. exactly. Because it's then really good. How many of those people, like the million in our example, might then go and Google things about veganism yeah. and they might come across some more education on the ethics, yes. the health aspect, the environment aspect, yeah. and they might be inspired to exactly. go vegan. Exactly. You just don't know where this is going to lead people. So it's beyond it's a wonderful. It's a huge day for veganism. It, it really, really <laughs> Put it there, brother. Mm. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at what Kylie actually posted on her Snapchat. Now, the first two snaps we were like yes oh no oh, uh, it was mixed emotions, mixed emotions. Yeah. yeah and the reason is well it looks like kylie might have been eating at a gourmet raw vegan restaurant because yeah. the food looks sort of like gourmet raw vegan doesn't yeah, it exactly so the first thing she's showing is vegan tacos and then the next snap really gives it away vegan raw it's soy free dairy free good grain free nachos so, so I guess it's important for people to know that um, raw food and a vegan diet are not one and the same things. No. Awesome that it's dairy free, yes. but you don't have to be soy free or gluten free no. or any of those other free things in order to eat a vegan diet. Yeah, it's just meat free, dairy free and egg free, That's honey it. free, you know, yeah. free of animal products, yeah. but everything else is vegan. Exactly, because so, there are as many ways to eat vegan as there are to eat non-vegan. Yes, and our reservation was when we saw these two snaps, we thought, oh no, she's trying to go down the super clean, healthy route. She wants to do raw food. And that's going to last for like 48 hours, hours yeah. 72 at best. <laughs> at best. We'd be like, uh-uh. So, and the reason for that is because it's usually low calorie, it's very hard to maintain, and if you're coming from a diet full of animal products that are fatty and salty and oily and, and the, high calorie. Yeah, and the diet might also include processed foods which are hyper palatable. And then you're switching to raw, it's like, it's not going to... Satiate? Yeah, and that's, we see a lot of people try to go down that route and it just, it doesn't last, it doesn't work and they're straight back to eating animal products. So. We were hesitant when we saw these first two snaps of Kylie. We were, but then there's a third then. snap. 
Kylie's next snap was showing vegan pizza, and this yes. looked uh, like flour-based uh, yeah. bases. Didn't well, it's, it? it's in the oven, so she's cooking yeah. it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, not it's not raw. raw. And now we were like, yes. yes. All right. It she's... looks a lot more hearty and exactly. substantial, doesn't it? Yeah, she's more not going to starve on raw food. And, no. All right. So it looks even like she's got some vegan cheese on top there. Um, excellent, very happy. And in the next snap, it looks like she's frying up sweet potatoes, I think. Yeah, and it looks like a whole heap of them, which is it's great, because really that good. looks like a satiating amount. Yes. So that's the last thing we saw on Kylie's Snapchat. We hope she continues looking into this yes. vegan thing. <laughs> um, but of course, it's not a thing, is it? It's not a fashion accessory or... It's about a lot more than just the diet, about the health side, so... Yeah, Kylie and anyone can learn more about the aspects of veganism by watching Earthlings for the yes. ethical aspect, both the health for the health aspect, and Cowspiracy for the environmental aspect. Yeah, so we hope she gets that education. So let's show Kylie some vegan support, some vegan love. Let's head Get over, over to the there social in the media. comments. Because <laughs> she's going to need it, isn't she? Yeah, I mean, yeah. she's going to be surrounded by people as celebrities are, management teams and what have you, and there might be some resistance and some pushback. Yeah. So let's go and give her love and encouragement and support and let her know that there's a whole vegan world there supporting every step of her journey. Absolutely. Now, interestingly, she didn't say anything on her Snapchat story. So we don't know why she's no. looking into veganism. We don't know what the motivation or inspiration was. Let us know more, Kylie. <laughs> yes, we are assuming, we're totally speculating here, it could be that she has watched the new documentary, What the Health, it's now on Netflix. Exactly, because so many social media celebrities yes. are reporting that they've watched it and they're trying out a vegan diet yeah. or they're going vegan. You know, people like Tammy Hembro, Portia Diane Williams, Jessica Aravalo, and so many more. Yeah, so it could be that this is what has inspired Kylie. Possibly, yeah. And we've seen so many videos from these celebrities and there's a lot of discussion going around, a lot of questions. And so we were thinking, let us know if you guys think this is a good idea. We were thinking of making like a what the health follow-up video. You know, you've watched the documentary, great, you want to make a change, what's next? So kind of like a resources tool, yeah, what yeah, to yeah. eat. Um, so any tips or resources that you guys have used to help you in your vegan uh, transition, journey, what have you, leave them down in the comments below. Yeah, let us know if you think this kind of video is a good idea and we'll make it. And the final thing we wanted to cover in today's video is a special announcement. <gasps> Our podcast is finally live! Woohoo! Very, very excited. Thank you so much for your patience, guys. We know we've had so many requests for this and we kept saying it's coming and then it was delayed. We had some technical roadblocks, but yes. they've been overcome and it is it's live. There. So the first episode is up now for you guys to listen to and what we're aiming to do is two episodes per week. Yeah, there'll be a variety of things on the show, like we'll be having discussions. We've got an Ask TVC segment where we ask... Yeah, we get you guys to ask us questions, big juicy questions that we can discuss in depth, you know, 30 minutes plus. Yes. And also we're going to invite special guests onto the show and interview them. So we've already pre-recorded five episodes and we have enjoyed this so much. We have, we have. Yeah, it's really different to what we're doing on the channel. It's still about veganism, but we're talking about things more broadly. More broadly, yeah, yeah, yeah we're talking yeah. about different lives situations our experience different just it's different, check it out <laughs> <laughs> different things that will help people yes yeah so you can subscribe uh to the podcast by the links in the description below yes and, and you can also subscribe by the website because you can listen to the podcast there that's right so please head over to that the sign up is free you also get a heap of gifts it's oh, all good it's good <laughs> And you can also leave comments on our website under the each podcast episode. So that's where we want to hear from you guys. We're going to sign off now. And at the end of this video, we've included a clip from our very first podcast. We hope you enjoy it. We can't wait to hear the feedback from you guys. And remember until next time that going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do. Go Kylie. <laughs> See you in the next Kylie. video. Bye. Bye guys. This is part of life, isn't it? to change and to adapt and keep moving forward because it keeps you evolving. Otherwise, yeah. you get so comfortable and anything stagnant dies, dies. as we say. Yes. Well, yeah. as we heard many years ago when we were needing to make changes, not on a technology you know, work basis, but internally. Yes. Um, you know, we heard anything stagnant dies. And that's how we were feeling inside. So yeah, we, yeah. we've had to push ourselves out of our comfort zone in, in terms of our personal uh, existence. Yes. And now we're, we're continuously doing that through work. Yeah, 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 yeah. And another quote that comes to mind is, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. yeah very good. Well, <laughs> certainly no moss on us. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> kind of like a, um, a snowball. Yes. We are rolling into an avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But see, this is the thing. 
It's scary because it's the unknown, yes. isn't it? Yep. You know, if, if everything could be certain, then oh, you change all the time. There's no problem. But it's the unknown. Yeah. And the egoic mind says, well, if I don't have any security in that next move, hey, I don't want to do it because my primary concern is feeling secure, feeling yeah. safe, knowing where I'm at. And that egoic mind is constantly surviving on that fear. Yes, and we heard another good um, thing of, you know, some time ago where fear is an acronym for false evidence appearing real. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of the time, the things that we're fearing uh, don't actually come to fruition, do no, they? No, that's right. That's right. Yeah. And I mean, we're talking about stuff uh, that we've read in The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Yes. Amazing book. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. We've got a link to it on our website, actually. We under do. Under our uh, recommended books. Uh, in the Our Tools section. That's right, yep. and Because that helped us so much. Well, it did. And everything that we mention uh, in, in today's podcast will be on the notes under the uh, podcast tab on our website, thatleadingcouple.com. Yes. So Eckhart talks about we can only deal with things in the present moment. In the moment, no matter what we're faced with, we can deal with it because it's in real time. Yeah. But in the mind projected future, you can't deal with something. Impossible and so the imagination runs, and the egoic mind runs wild, doesn't yeah, it? Because yeah. the possibilities are endless. Yeah. And in terms of what's happening in the future or what could happen in the future. And because you're not there. You can't possibly deal with all of those potential scenarios. You can't at physically do anything. Exactly. So therefore the imagination just keeps going and going and going and until you wake up in a, a bed full of cold sweats and and yeah. you know your heart's racing and jumping out of your chest and you're gripping the sheets and you're thinking <gasps> I'm not changing anything. 